Hey Leo, welcome. We're here for your weekend bonus. So we're just going to jump right in. Okay. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and last messages for the sign of Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? I feel like you're manifesting, Leo. Messages for Leo. The weekend bonus. Manifesting a collaboration, huh? Because you see the potential that your wishes could be fulfilled here. That your future could be set. But you got to communicate something to somebody that may not be so open to having this love, this victory and love with you at this time because you possibly left them out in the cold and now they didn't cut you out. But now you've become sure that you want to be the king of swords or the queen of swords after it's over. After you had time to think about what you've done in the past. Possibly had time to express your love but didn't. Now you want to stand up and fight for a situation here with the seven of wands. Because you want to move forward with the chariot. You want to speak the truth. You feel like you want to stand up and fight for, for something to move forward. But the only way for you to do that is to speak the truth. About possibly a queen of pentacles. Here. Four of swords. Why you retreated from a queen of pentacles. You're trying to put an end to the anxiety with somebody. Somebody that you see as a wish fulfillment possibly. So tell me about the seven of wands here for Leo. Why is that here? You standing up and fighting for something. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is who you got to speak the truth. You got to tell somebody the truth about this Queen of Pentacles. Could be a cancer, don't got to be. But there's somebody you got to tell the truth. You got to tell this truth about this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? I said, okay. <laughs> so, you're telling the truth. But first, before you tell the truth about this Queen of Pentacles, you're actually walking away emotionally from this Queen of Pentacles because you're standing up and fighting for yourself or something else. But you got stress going on, a lot of it. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me one more on the Seven of Wands for Leo. It could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. Yeah, the emperor. You're mostly walking away from something because you got to take charge of something. Something that you've been holding back for a long time that's long overdue. Tell me about the chariot. That's too many. Yeah, I'm putting all this back. That's way too many. Tell me about the chariot for Leo. Tell me about the chariot for Leo. Nine of swords. More stress. <sighs> you stress the fuck out, Leo. Yeah, you want you want to move forward with your wish fulfillment, but you are stressed out because you gotta tell the truth about this Queen of Pentacles. About their marriage. Or maybe you gained a perspective, a new level about the highest perspective, and you got to tell the truth about why you was in and out, why you was egotistical, and why you want a second chance, whatever the case may be. Tell about the. I'm not taking all that. Tell about the Ace of Swords for Leo. Okay, there's a Scorpio, uh, Scorpio Cancer Pisces uh, feminine energy out here. If you want to speak the truth to, you got to tell the truth to. Um, about an equal give and take, about that you was having with another woman. Or equal give and take that you are having with another woman here. You're going to communicate some truth to this Queen of Cups about putting the work into. Something that you're manifesting. 
So where is this Queen of Pentacles here? How about the Queen of Pentacles for Leo? How about the Queen of Pentacles for Leo? Are you going to tell her? Look, I made a decision to lead that Queen of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn woman alone. I retreated from her because I want a victory with you. Retreated from her. Tell about the Four of Swords. The Moon card, the Seven of the Pentacles, and the Sun. Leo, somebody makes you extremely happy. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Cancer. But somebody makes you extremely happy here. You want to see something grow here. Okay, but you got some hell of anxiety. Why is the anxiety here? You want to take in the love offer and sell it in the calmer waters. Put the burdens down and apologize, but you got anxiety. Tell me about this nine of swords. I don't even know what was up with them. That I don't know what happened just now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Nine of swords. Five of wands. The chariot and the judgment. Oh, something stable with the Empress. After her heart has been broken. Somebody want to reconcile with her. And that somebody is the King of Wands. So that's why you're so stressed out. Tell them about the Five of Wands. For Leo. I feel like it was an ego. Especially with the sun next to it. I feel like it was ego and yeah. Somebody had to pause to reflect. A lot of it pausing to reflect. Somebody is also spiritually connected here with the Herman and the Hang Woman. Okay. So this is deep introspection on both parts. Somebody had to deeply introspect their ego. And when they did, they became in anxiety because they realized that they possibly were the person that was wrong. They were the reason that this ended and now they want to just fix it. They feel like if they just tell, come and speak their emotions of love, this will put the end to all the confusions and, you know, give an apology. And then they can move on to having their wishes fulfilled, what they held back from in the first place. What they now see is a bad a decision because this is their soulmate. Who they're supposed to balance it out with. So, yeah, that's what I got for you, Leo. And I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in your next video. Namaste.